Hey guys, it's Cy here. Welcome to another episode of Cy's Review Reviews. Today I just want to review on the NASCAR Silly Season updates because we've gotten a lot of news these last few weeks. So let's start from a few weeks ago. One of them announced that Ross Chastain would take up with the number 42 full-time in 2021 because, you know, the 42 has been open ever since uh, Larson had that little error. And uh, Kent has been driving full-time this year. And we didn't know who was going to drive the 42 in 2021, and it's going to be Ross Chastain. And uh, I'm really excited. Uh, and new Ch and now Chastain's going to do really well. And uh, I feel like uh, Cindric's not going to go to the Xfinity Series, but that, that, that's for next. That, that that's for uh, a little later in the video. We'll talk about that a little later. But yeah, Cindric's not going to go to the Xfinity Series until 2022. Briscoe looks like he will due to another th story, which I'll get to in, in just a moment. But like. Yeah, it's just, <laughs> I feel like it's a championship battle, or for the rookie battle in 2021 is going to be Briscoe. If Briscoe does go to Cup and take the 14, and uh might be Briscoe versus Chastain. But yeah, uh, it was uh, announced, uh, and then like, the next announcement, I can't, I can't remember what it was. I can't, I can't remember what it was, honestly. Um, but I know for a fact, I can tell you uh, some news that did come out this week. Um, so, it was announced that, uh, Devetta will return to, um, in 2021, in 2021, or the 21, 2021, and, uh, Cindric will run a sele some select races and then go full-time in Cup in 2022, so, yeah, just noted on that, and then also, uh, Daniel Suarez is gonna go to the number 99 for, uh, I forgot what team it's called, it starts with a T and I forgot what it was. Terminal, <laughs> I don't know, that's that's 100% not correct, but that's just the best I guess I have. And also, oh yeah, I remember a few a few weeks ago, that's that's what I was wanting to know. Michael Jordan and uh, Denny Hamlin are, are going to start their full, or are going to start a team together, and they're going to have Bubba Wallace as a driver. Um, That's been announced for a few weeks now, but like, <laughs> geez, it was just so, like, like Michael Jordan, uh, the, you, you guys know how Michael Jordan and Denny Hamlin have been best friends, I think they... Have been playing golf together and they were best buds and stuff and you know Jordan Michael Jordan has been a good fan of NASCAR you know he has he 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 he's done basketball in the past but he does have some NASCAR in him so he does have some NASCAR in him and he really enjoys Denny Hamlin but I don't like Denny Hamlin I'm sorry out there to Michael Jordan but I just, I've, I, I, like I've said before, I can, I don't like Hamlin. I don't care what you say, I don't like Hamlin. After everything he's done, it's just, it's not working out for me. Um, but also, an, uh, w another big storyline that came out, actually yesterday, uh, it was announced that, uh, Clint Border is gonna retire after the 2020 season, and then he's gonna move to the Fox booth. It is sad to see Border go. He only has, it's unbelievable, he only has 10 career cup wins and right now he's in a and it must win to try to make it to the round of eight and it looks like it's not going to happen so yeah this is a so now from now on the rest of the f remainder of the five races left in the season man there's only five races left in the nascar cup season man this year has gone by fast and good <laughs> good that this is going by fast like legit like Everybody, we need, we need to just get out of 2020. We only have, we only have like almost two and a half months left. We only got two and a half months left to go. Can we do it? We cannot after this year. And the election's in a month. And uh, Donald Trump versus Joe Biden. I don't know. It's not gonna look at. Anyway, we're not gonna talk about the elections. That's 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 for a different. That's for a different argument. But um, anyways, back to NASCAR. Uh, if I can remember. What, oh yeah, I was talking about Clint Boyer. Yeah, Boyer. Like, this is just, this came out of the blue. Like, I, I heard some rumors about people saying that Boer could move to the, move the Fox booth and Chase Briscoe takes the 14. Those, those were, back in the day, those were rumors. And I, I, I was in, I was kind of back and forth on the decision. I didn't think it was actually going to happen. Turns out it actually did happen. <laughs> That's, uh, wow. I mean, it's sad to see Boer go, but he's not going, uh, we, we, we'll still see Boer on Sundays and he'll be, in the booth, but legit, he 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 showed that after i racing, he he's ready to be in the booth. Honestly, he he he's ready to be in the booth after all the quotes he did. I got Bubba. Yeah, he's gonna get Fox. <laughs> I wrote a comment on that in an Instagram post. I forgot what it was, but uh, yeah. So yeah. Anyway, so 
yeah, Boyer right there with Boyer joining the booth. It's going to be Jeff Gorn, um, Clint Boyer, and Mike join. Fox really needs that because that since Daryl Walsh play, things have been kind of quiet around Fox because um, it's just been Jeff Gorn and uh, Mike Joy and then Splish Special Larry Mack right there coming and popping in from time to time. It's just been really quiet. There's no, like, like Daryl Walter was there. He had, like, excitement, and he brought, like, the tension or something. I don't know if that's how I want to put it. <laughs> but then ever since uh, Daryl Walter fled, things have been kind of quiet. But with Boyer joining, that's going to really spice things up a little bit on the Fox side. And people have been saying Fox is better than NBC, and I'm one of those people that say that Fox is better than NBC. I don't care what you all say. Fox is better than NBC. <laughs> And actually, a lot of people say that. I don't know why I even said that. But anyway, they're with the. This is definitely going to help Fox Bora joining. But is it going to be a little too much? Because we know how we know how Clint Bora is. He's probably one of, if not the funniest NASCAR driver ever. Um, probably Noah Gregson probably be a close second. I mean, Boyer and Gregson, they're kind of. I mean, I like Gregson and uh, Boyer. I'm, I I like him. He's a pretty good guy. And uh, <laughs> my net does not like him after. He's a big fan of Ryan Newman, and then he, after Boar sucker punched Newman last year at the All Star race, he has hated him. <laughs> but I still love him. I still like him. So, yeah. Um, uh, I keep losing my train of thought. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, but people are saying that it might be a little too much. It might be a little too much because of his sense of humor. Now, honestly, my, I could see that happening. I could see maybe a bit too much. But I know, I know he when he's in the booth, right there, he he'll make jokes from time to time. But he's not, he doesn't make. I feel like, when, since he's in the booth and since he's like actually gonna speak a lot on TV, I don't think he's gonna make as much jokes as he would as as if he were a driver. And I feel like that's I feel like legit. If it's people saying it too much, I don't know. I I honestly don't know about that at all. <laughs> it's just gonna be hard to say. But um, anyways, so. Yeah, that's a big story. And then uh, people are saying the top candidate, Chase Briscoe, um, was the top candidate for the 14. And I honestly, I, op I absolutely agree. I absolutely agree that Chase Briscoe is going to go to the 14. He's been Stuart Haas racing in the number 98. Like, think how far Chase Briscoe has come. Like, legit, in 2018, he was running the number 60 part-time, which is, my opinion, the most cursed car that... It, they had no choice but to shut it down after 2018 because it was legit the most cursed car ever. It never, ever finished the race. It always wrecked. It was Ty Majeski, Austin Cindric, and Chase Briscoe. Two of those names, Cindric and Briscoe, in 2020, they are dominating the Xfinity Series. They are legit the big two in the Xfinity Series after being in the most cursed car in the number 60 along with Ty Majeski. Like, I don't know. Anyway, I was talking about Chase Briscoe. Then, uh, Briscoe went to the 98, He then he got a win at the Roval in 2018 in the 98, and then last year he got another win, which was actually getting by Christopher Bell win in Iowa, and actually could have won, oh, what was it, Kansas or Chicago? I think it was Kansas. And then he got held up by a lap car, then he and Bell made contact and went around. I remember that race. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, Chase Briscoe this year, he completely has had a breakout year by far. Same with Cindric. I mean, Cindric Came into came into this year with I think one Kurt wait no one or two do you have one or two no he had two he had two he came into this year with two career wins same with Briscoe because Cindric he only won on the two road courses of a uh, Watkins Glen and Middle Higher back to back and then Briscoe won in twenty one race of twenty eighteen and another one twenty nineteen. And now they have, Briscoe has eight wins. I don't know how much Sindrick has. I know he has like three, because of those three in a row. Four or five, I think he has like five or six or something. I don't know. Um, but yeah, Briscoe for the 14 at their, I honestly agree. And just talk about those like drivers that are still open. Debetadetta, we know who he's going to say at this one. The drivers that are left that are open, Larson and uh, Jones, they don't, they're, I think they're like the only two notable names. That don't have a ride. I don't know who else is in a, is in the hot seat, and who else is a free agent right now. I know it's I know it's Jones and Larson, and they could one of them is possibly going to duel to go to the eighty eight. And I I've this is almost ten minutes, and I have not talked about probably one of the biggest storylines, uh, besides the Bora thing, that Alex Bowman, 
is going to go to the 48 in 2021. And honestly, I am, I mean, I like Alex Bowman. I like Alex Bowman, but honestly, this is actually disappointing. And here's why. Because legit, we, we were talking about, like, some of these young guns. Because, like, usually, like, when a popular NASCAR driver leaves, like a, like a NASCAR driver that's, like, had a huge, huge hit, a, a hit, huge impact in NASCAR and the sport in general. Like, Jeff Gordon, he, he, he retired in 2015, and then he hired Chase Elliott to be the candidate for 2016-2017, and he didn't win, but he was close a couple times. And then, eventually, William Byron led the hands of the 24, and then he didn't do well the first two years, and then he won... And then he won the Daytona, the final race of the regular season this year. And he, he he's actually, he's <laughs> he's finally, um, well, he's not quite where he was when, as he was racing in trucks in Xfinity. Because trucks in Xfinity, he was dominating those. And he won the championship in uh, Xfinity in 2017. And then it came into 2018 and we didn't have anything. Same for Bubba Wallace. Like, he went to the number 43, uh, the car of Richard Petty. And he... Also, has completely he's completely flopped, but Bubba Wallace has actually had probably actually probably one of his best years. Actually, actually scratch that. That this is by far his Bubba Wallace's best year, and I'm not counting 2018 where he finished second in the Daytona 500 led laps, and then last year when he finished third in the Brickyard 400. This year has been a big year for Bubba Wallace. Like about everything, about like. Like, since, like, like, All Lives Matter and Black Lives Matter, like, Bob Wallace has made a huge impact in NASCAR. He has got, gained a lot of fan support, including me, obviously. And he he has actually done pretty well. Remember, at Talladega, after the noose thing happened, Bob Wallace got out there and led some laps. And same thing last week at Talladega. He led some laps. Daytona, he led, like, a lap and was actually close to winning that race. And actually could have honestly won... Last week's race at Talladega, if Warren for who bumped him in the wall? I think it was Logano who bumped him in the wall. And then, if he didn't wreck with his uh, fishing buddy, Ryan Blaney, then, uh, actually, are they fishing buddies? I know they're buddies, but I don't know if they're fishing But No, no, that's New Miniature. Sorry, I got that messed up. Messed up. But they're still buddies. Like, Bob Wallace actually could have possibly been in a position for his first career win. And Bob Wallace has actually not in a, been in a position to win at all. Like, coming to this year, I don't think he's ever been in a position to win, um, but this year, he's been, like, the restricted play tracks, he's starting to be definitely the best at the restricted play tracks, because leading laps at Talladega, leading, like, I think he led a lap at Daytona, or something, and then he led some laps at Talladega, and he actually was the closest he's actually come to winning a cup race, at least I think, <laughs> I don't know, I'm not, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm not counting the 2018 Daytona 500 where he finished second there. Because he wasn't even, I mean, he was in contention, but, like, he didn't, like, make a charge. He wasn't in, a, like, in contention to win the race. And Talladega last week, he certainly was. And, um, I feel like I'm missing one more story. I, I talked about Bubba Walls, and uh, I think I got distracted. I was talking about, uh, yeah, I was talking about Alex Bowman. But you had all these young candidates, like Jones, Larson, and then you had people like possibly Briscoe and Gregson, but then they all got like, rides. And then we are thinking, oh, it's down to Jones and Larson. And then it goes to, and then it goes to Bowman. I mean, like I said, I I don't have any I don't have any problem with Alex Bowman. I like Alex Bowman. He's uh, one of my favorite NASCAR drivers. Uh, but he's already an entry in the number eighty eight, which also is actually another car that has like has made a huge impact. Dale Hunter Jr. used to drive it, and he's in that ride and he's doing successful. And then he's gonna go to the forty eight. I mean. He might be even more successful in the 48, uh, but then again, I don't know, honestly. But he's already in Hendrick, and then he made that switch. It's kind of like how uh, Chase Sally made that switch in 2018, what he went from the 24 to the 9, and then Byron took over the 24. The same thing is happening uh, this year when uh, just... Uh, I keep losing my turn. Uh, but, 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 but Bowman's going from the 88 to the 48. I mean, I, I don't understand. That's actually kind of disappointing. I thought it was going to be someone like Larson or Jones or something. But now they're going to do it for the 88 car, which isn't as good as the 48 car. But it's still another huge, uh, huge number. It's <laughs> When I say huge number, I mean like a number that has 
made a huge impact in NASCAR. Dale Hunter Jr., like I said, he used to drive it, and he was pretty successful. Didn't win a championship, but he was very successful. I can't speak. He was very successful. Um, I think that's all the storylines that have happened the last few weeks. I feel like I'm missing something. If I'm missing anything, comment down below. Well, YouTube is disabled in the comments, so every time I, like, show my face or something, I don't know. But, um... Just let me know. Just text me on Instagram. Just DM me on Instagram. My Instagram is NASCAR underscore Smithfield underscore Cup underscore Series. If you haven't uh, followed me yet, uh, do follow me. Because I have 1,100 11, followers on Instagram and I have 12 subscribers on here. Guess what? If you haven't already, please subscribe. This is, like, upsetting. <laughs> like, like, one of my friends uh, on Instagram, uh, his name is Jackson, and he... Has been sort of take off. He has uh, up to fifteen hundred, and he he's get, he's getting some views and stuff. But he's starting to grow. I want to grow with him, but it's just not. It's just not happening. Like I have eleven hundred followers that could join. That could subscribe to me and make it eleven eleven hundred subscribers. But it's only twelve, which is disappointing me. So anyway, do subscribe to me, and then also if you do follow me on Instagram, like I just said, Instagram, do DM me and like tell me what I missed from this video. The only reason, like I said, that I don't want you to comment is because YouTube does disable these, these comments on, like, the videos where I show my face and stuff. I don't know, it's because of the new YouTube algorithm and stuff. Anyway, so, that's gonna be it for this episode of Sasuke for you. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe, like, I, subscribe, like I said, hit, li hit the like button. It's gonna help the channel grow, and then, uh, yeah, I'll see you uh, in the next video where I decide to post, which will probably be the Charlotte Roval, um, review. So, yeah. Or if I find Wave 5, like tomorrow or something, if I find the full Wave 5, like I don't unbox any waves until I find the, the full Wave 5, the full wave. I don't know if I discuss it in the Wave 4 unboxing or not, but anyways, I'll see you in the next video post whenever, whatever that's going to be, either Wave 5 unboxing or just size of reviews or whatever. But anyway, I'll see you guys uh, next time, see you guys, bye.